What's going on guys, Bow here back with some Naruto Spirit, so let's get into this, we got the new event out, flower event, basically the same event over and over, just with a different coin, honestly they should just extend these events to 14 weeks, I mean 14 days, what am I saying, so that way we could actually get something done, but uh, they did add a new character into the recruit, which costs the same amount 200,000 if I can get data, but uh, I don't even have that much, so we're not gonna worry about it. Um, honestly, they just need to add into this uh, ninja recruit, they just need to add triple S rank and it's not the characters there. I mean, I don't know why they don't do that, but um, we did get a new Chinchuriki if you're looking to get one. Uh, I do need to spin more dark beads so that we can actually get some more spirit or something like that. We also got the VIP gifts, which doesn't really help me all that much just because I don't have enough cash gifts and they haven't really had a pack to buy any so if they get one that has like 2k cash gifts I will definitely buy like two or three of them but uh, for now we're just gonna struggle with 700 and not get anything done so I'm not gonna be going for this badge of course just because there's no way I'm gonna be able to possibly get it so I'm not gonna worry about it too much uh, I will be however going for the packs and maybe we'll get something good out of there. We also got the dice, which I was thinking about doing, but then it's gonna take a couple hundred coupons or cash gifts to actually get those done. So, I mean, I can go to 10 or 20 for free, but uh, after that, it would cost cash gifts to do it. So, I don't know if I wanna do it, but there's the badge right there. We got block yet again. I don't know why they just don't put uh, attack speed. And then we got the boxes which are basically the same thing some of them are changed up a little bit here and there but basically the same thing we're not really saying anything different so they should really just put these two events together and make it 14 days instead of having a seven day event where no one gets anything done uh, we also got this one which I was thinking about getting which is a little Closer to what I'm probably going to be able to get with the horse coins, even if we do get a promo code with uh, some coins in it. And then we also got this one, which is, would be a lot better. We got 250 at moon, 3 triple S uh, scrolls, but it costs almost 6,000. And then we got this one, which is actually really nice, but it's almost 7,000. It's half of the actual coin. So, if you're looking to get the talent, I would recommend this one because it costs... Uh, a lot more to get that stuff than the coins that you have to actually use for it. And then we got these uh, boxes right here and if you're wondering, well not these ones, but um, we got these boxes right here and if you're wondering how to get them, you have to get the box for your, right there, that box right there. You gotta get to 220 in the Road to Hokage daily. So you can only get one of those a day. So I don't know why they give us like 10 of each because there's no way to get 10 of them. You're only, if you were to actually do it daily, you're only going to get 7 because there's only 7 days in this event. So unless you start saving up these boxes from now on, I don't know if they stack or not. I should actually check that. If they start stacking, I'm just going to start saving everything. But uh, yeah, you have to get the 120 box every day to get these. Kind of worth it though. The amount of silver you actually get out of those is pretty worth it if you're a new player. And you need silver. I just like the amount of silver because we always have to buy boxes with silver and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to think about getting that. But uh, here are the like scrolls and stuff you get out of that box. So the cell tracker is 50 coins. And you get 100 of them. So yeah, that's pretty good there. Tell Beast uh, chakra is 3,000. Pretty good there as well. But um, yeah, I don't know which boxes I'm going to be able to get. Hopefully we'll get something... And then we also got these uh, recruit cards, which are for the Chinchuriki. I'm guessing you have to get all 40 of them. Yeah, you need 40 of them. <laughs> 40 recruit cards at 2,000 coins a piece, which you can only get 10. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I think they're actually cheaper with Eye of Moon. Honestly, if you actually buy Eye of Moon, I think it would actually be cheaper than buying those, those ones. I don't know. I gotta calculate that though. But Eye of Moon is pretty cheap in this. Instead of spending the 2,000 coins, I think one Eye of Moon's like 20 of the coins or something like that. 
Or you can actually buy the pack with like 250 Ive Moon. But uh, I guess it's, it's just a way to get some of the recruit cards if you're going to be recruiting anybody. But um, yeah, getting to 220 on those boxes is pretty hard to do. I usually get to 150. Sometimes I get to 220 if I actually work towards it, but uh, usually 150 is what I get to on the Road to Hokage. But um, yeah, interesting that they actually added that as one of the requirements for one of the boxes. Honestly, all I'm waiting for now is for them to extend these events or cut one of the events out. Like, they could have just extended the last event into this event and not even had the horse coins, just had the rice cakes. Would have been the same thing, but with the... Like, they didn't even have to change the badge or anything, but, uh... Yeah, they... Only made it seven days. So I guess we're just going to be having 70 events non-stop or something? I honestly don't know what they're thinking, but um, seven days is not enough to do anything unless you're actually topping up and buying a bunch of these packs and stuff like that to actually get the coin. But unless you're topping up a lot, you're not going to be getting the coins on all these events. I haven't even got a coin in the past like five or six events or something like that because I spent so much before that to get all the coins before. Now I have nothing for these other coins, so yeah, and I am still loving up Beast Gar, as you can see there, because I am going for the Kazekage just to have them. Honestly, there's no other reason for me to actually get him, but uh, I do want to collect all the characters, so we're going to be going for him. Plus, I believe he is one of the characters I need for the talent? No. I don't know. I need one of the Kages for the talent or something like that, but... Uh, yeah, I would recommend start saving a bunch of stuff because they're probably going to have some more of those events where they ask for random stuff for boxes and stuff. Because I didn't expect them to ask for a 120 star box out of that for some silver and some other stuff. But uh, I don't know why they would give you the option to buy 10 of them when you can only get 7 during the event. So, But uh, as you can see here, I am really close to... Kazekage Gara. All I need to do is level up um, Beast Gara up to 20, which is 5 more levels. And then buying the actual cards for Kazekage Gara is only going to be 7,000 um, 6 Path Essence, which I have like 20 something thousand. So 7,000 is really not a big deal at all. So we cannot afford to actually spend that much to, to get it. But. Uh, we're going to be going for him, then we're going to be going for probably some other characters. I was actually thinking about buying White Coat Sasuke just to have him, because he is going to be 30k S Ninja. And I have like a hundred and something, 105,000 or something like that, S Ninja or something. So, could buy a few of those characters if we wanted to. But, uh, yeah, I really wish it would just extend events, honestly. Instead of having event after event where we have to save up and save up, they should just extend the events or let us keep the rice cakes and trade them for the new coin or whatever they're going to give us like they used to but uh, yeah they took that out a while back I don't know why they don't do that if they're going to have event after event they should let us exchange whatever that is for the new one so that way some of us would get closer to the coin over time but uh, yeah they don't let us do that Although every once in a while they'll let you trade in uh, event stuff for whatever event's going on. So, I mean, you can keep them if you want, but uh, they just take up a ton of space. So that's why I usually don't keep them. Plus, I have no cash gifts to actually buy more space in my bag or warehouse. So I really don't want to keep them. But um, we are still trying to save up Telbeast Essence to get the last two pieces of our set. I'm pretty close to one of them. I think I'm at almost 400. I need 450 and then we would need another 450 and then we're basically done with that set. We could start on the third set which I would have to buy the weapon for that one as well because I have a different weapon on my main but uh, we would have to buy the actual weapon for the other one. I don't know if I want to do that just yet but uh, as you can see here the talent we are starting to work towards that. Although the amount you actually need for some of this stuff is insane. 
So we're just going to take our time. I have been buying Cell Chakra every once in a while like here and there. And uh, we'll see how all this works out once I actually get enough to do it. But it uh, looks like you can have three of them. So getting three is going to take a long time. But uh, there are my characters. Basically the same. Combat power is going up just a little bit. Not all that high. Because I haven't really been uh, getting anything. But um, hopefully they add a way to exchange coins or whatever the material is for events because usually I have some left over or I don't want to buy a pack but I end up having two just because I know I'm not going to be able to do anything with them so yeah they need to, need to let us exchange them if they're only going to have seven day events because that's not a long time. Even if I spent like thousands of spirit, I wouldn't even be close to the badge. I would probably get a couple thousand of whatever coin or whatever we're actually getting. So yeah, that shows how much you actually need. The only way you could probably get it every time is by VIP packs. But you would have to buy probably one through five. And even then, that's only like half the coin. So... Yeah, it's pretty pricey. Hopefully they'll figure out something with that. Either extend events, let us trade them um, like coins for the next event or something. I don't know. They need to figure out something because these events are fun and all, but when you're not able to get anything besides like a pack that's not even worth it, yeah, it kind of sucks. I really wish they would lower the pack prices too because some of them are not even worth it. Like the 200 cash gift one is not worth it at all unless you're barely starting off. Most of the older servers have enough of whatever they're giving out in that, so... I don't know who would ever buy that pack, but uh, yeah, it's just way too much. Maybe if they cost like 100 coin or whatever, because you get cash gifts in them, but even then I really wouldn't want to buy them. So... We'll see what they do. Probably just going to keep doing the same events over and over. Just changing the coin, changing the badge. And hopefully by the end of the year or something like that, they'll have a recap of all the badges. So we'll at least tr be able to try to get one of the older badges we missed. Or something. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I am still going to be doing the Tell Beast uh, card transformation. Just haven't got to it yet, but uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one.